Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial. Thanks to Becker for inviting me back to the B school. And my tutorial is going to be on making a white dress white. Sometimes you see those brides and you'll see a yellow cast or a blue cast on their dress. It's very easy to happen. Doesn't mean you're necessarily doing anything wrong, but there is a very quick way, actually two ways I'm gonna show you to fix that in Photoshop. So first, since I don't have a webcam like Becker, there's me and that's me with my grandma. She's actually my great grandma and she was 104 and recently passed away. And now let's get on with our tutorial now that you know what I look like. Okay, we're gonna be using this photo by, um, and it was taken by Mark from trashthedress.com. So go check out his site. He has some wonderful work and he's a great inspiration to a lot of photographers. So this photograph right here, as you'll see, the colors look beautiful. The wedding dress, actually I love the way it looks, but it does have a color cast and whether or not you wanna get rid of that is really personal preference. But I'm gonna give you the tools so that you know how to get rid of it if you want to. The first tool that we can use is actually the sponge tool. And it's housed under the dodge and burn. So if you can't find it, look for one of these symbols. And when you click on it, you'll see the sponge tool. What you're going to do is you're going to actually want to use the desaturate version of it. So there's a saturate and desaturate. And you'll want to keep your flow probably uh, between 50 and 100%, depending if you're wanting to keep a little bit of the color in or get rid of it completely. And we'll go ahead and duplicate our layer, which is Command or Control J, depending if you're on a Mac or PC. And then you'll make your brush bigger or smaller by using the bracket keys just above and to the left of the Enter key on your keyboard. And you will go ahead and literally just paint on the dress with a very soft edge airbrush. And you'll see as I paint, it just paints away the saturation. And I just want to make sure not to hit the peach bow. I just want to hit the white of the dress. And you'll see our before and after from using this went from that to this. So we've gotten rid of some of those blue highlights. Now you may decide you like the blue and that's fine, but this is just how you can deal with those. Another way to do this, and I'm going to actually turn this layer off. I'll leave it there for comparison though, um, for later. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to find out what, how do you know what color is in it? If you're colorblind or can't really see well. Okay, you're going to click on the foreground color or the other way you can do this is actually just click on the eyedropper tool. Either way will work. And we're going to come in here and tap on something that's supposed to be white. And you'll see if you're on the white where it's very, very close to 255, you're not going to get much color at all. But if you click on one of the shadowed areas, you're going to see that it's blue instead of what should be white or gray. If it's gray, that means it's a different shade of white. So if it's blue, then we know that that's what we're working with. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a adjustment layer, a hue saturation adjustment layer. So we click on that and in this menu, you'll see it says edit master. We're going to drop down to the blues and to the cyans because blue is usually a combination of both. And we'll start with blue. I'm gonna move this over a little bit so you can see. And we're gonna drop down the saturation of the blues. Quite a bit actually to taste, but if we wanna get them all out, we'd go to 100. If we wanna get most out, we'll drop it down to the 70s. Now, you'll notice that the dress starts looking a little bit dull, and if we want to make it a little bit brighter, we can increase the lightness, again, just of the blues. So as we bring this up, it's just picking up on the blues and brightening those. We can also come down here in cyan, and to see where the cast is, you actually increase it. So you'll see there is a lot of cyan in other parts of the photo as well, but also in the dress. So we can come in here and decrease that down a little bit. If it affects other parts of the photo, we can actually mask. Um, if it doesn't, then you can just go ahead and decrease it, or if you like how it looks, decrease it down a little bit. And again, if you want to increase the lightness, you can, but you don't have to. And click OK. So here's our before and after with this. So we can compare. That was one, and that was the other. Similar results. Um, depends kind of what you're going for. This way you can actually brighten things up in the same, in the same swipe. Um, you can also, you have a mask to work with, so you could come in here with your paintbrush and with a soft edge airbrush, you could actually come in here and let back some of the blue on the sign and over here in case any of it came out. That is it for me. Thank you very much. Again, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. If you want to check out my blog for some more tutorials, it's mcpactions.com slash blog. Hope to see you there, and thank you again, Becker, for having me on the B-School.